In this video, I'm going to show you how to budget along with some budgeting tips and an actual spreadsheet. So the reason I chose to talk about how to budget is because it is so important to budget your money so you actually know what's coming in and what's going out. Every successful business on this planet has a budget and they know exactly what their income and expenses are and how much they're going to have left over at the end of every month. Obviously no one has a crystal ball, but in my opinion what you measure gets tracked and what gets tracked can get optimized. So let's get right into it you guys. So very simply, the spreadsheet that I'm going to use is just a Google Chrome template. So what you wanna do is, if you have a Gmail account or any Google type of account, you just click on those nine square dots in the top right hand corner, uh, click on Drive, and once you click on Drive, it'll take you into this screen. So you simply just click on the plus number here, uh, Google Sheets, let it expand, and click From a Template, okay? From there, it'll take you to this screen right here, and you'll see a monthly budget calculator. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a monthly budget sheet right here that we already uh, started editing, and I'm going to go over this spreadsheet and exactly how this will change your financial life. So follow me uh, if you can, you guys. This is very simple. So what you wanna do is any highlighted field is a field that's gonna be edited, okay, or that you have the ability to edit. The rest of these fields are actually just showing you what your actual numbers were and the difference um, total for this month, okay? So this is a monthly budget, meaning that we're gonna say exactly how much we started the month with. So I'm gonna use easy numbers and say this month we started with $1,000, right? Now, what we're able to do is in this tab down here, next to summary, we actually have a transactions tab, okay? So this transactions tab is actually what populates all these fields that you see here. And you can always add and remove columns, um, but I just chose to leave the ones that Google gave in this template um, because they pretty much cover what everyone has in as an expense and also what everyone has as an income. Okay, so you following me so far, you guys? Let's get right into it. So the nice thing about this is that this gives you um, your planned and actual expenses for the month and your planned and actual income for the month. And then it shows you the difference between your starting balance and your ending balance and also the percentage of the total savings that you've had and also the actual dollar amount. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm only gonna populate the paycheck tab just because we'll keep it nice and simple so this video um, is quick and that everyone can follow it. If you wanna go into more detail, all you need to do is follow me on this one and just repopulate it for all the other categories. So let's say we get a job that pays us every two weeks. Um, so right now we know that we're getting paid every other Friday. So let's see that you know total we're getting paid $5,000 in a month, okay? So we can see here that our planned income is $5,000. So far we haven't realized any of that because I did not populate it in the transactions tab, but the difference is showing negative 5,000. So let's, let's uh, reconcile that, it's very simple. So let's say it's the 1st of March, 2019. So this video is from the future and I'm taking a time machine to come uh, record it for you guys. So we said that we make about $2,500 every couple of weeks so I'm gonna put $2,500 for my one paycheck. The description is going to be paycheck or it can be uh, whatever you wanna call it, but the category is how the spreadsheet knows how to categorize it, right? So I'm gonna put this under paycheck. Now, if we go back to the summary screen, we can see here that our actual number is 2,500 because we got our one paycheck for 2,500, which you can see here, and now the spreadsheet tracks that, okay? Now let's pretend it's the end of the month, okay? Or it's the 15th, because we get paid every couple weeks, right? I get paid the same amount, so I put in $2,500. I'm gonna call this paycheck again. I'm going to categorize this under paycheck and now see what happens. Boom, so we plan on making five grand, we actually realize five grand and we're on track with our income budget, right? And the nice thing is that this changes in real time. So you can see here that we planned five grand, we realized five grand, our starting balance was 1,000, our ending balance is 6,000, and it's saying that we saved this much money this month just because I haven't put in any expenses yet. Make sense? 
Now, here's the fun part, okay? This is where you really need to realize and actually understand how much money is coming in versus how much money is going out. An easy way to do this is to check your credit card statements to understand an idea of how much per category you spend per month. So if you're going out to eat and you know you spend $10 every day on lunch, you know that you're gonna be probably in the neighborhood of $300 per month just on eating out, right? So a good way to do that, again, is to check your credit card statements, uh, check your bank statements, and also uh, write down any transactions you may do in cash. That way you know exactly how much money is going out to each category, right? So let's go through a real quick example. So food, let's say you're that person that spends $10 a day every day on lunch, and then some on the weekends. So you know that you're gonna spend about $350 that month, right? Uh, say you're a generous person and you give away $150 a month in gifts, whether it's to your little niece or your grandkid or whatever your life situation may be. Uh, health and medical, you know, knock on wood, we're going to be pretty uh, healthy here and we only plan on spending 50 bucks a month. Um, on the home, this category is typically going to be like your rent. So if your rent is $12.50 a month, you put that in there, and anything that goes along with the home, such as um, you know repairs and things like that, you can throw under home, or you can choose to categorize that under other, or you can even make a custom category down here, which is nice. You simply just edit it and call it, you know, additional expenses, right? And, and that could be you know a catch-all. Transportation, I typically consider this anything that costs money to get you from point A to point B. So if it's putting gas in your car and you know you spend 40 bucks a week on gas, there's roughly four weeks in a month, you do 40 times four, okay, I expect to spend right around 160 bucks this month on gas. Uh, personal, this could be anything. This could be something for entertainment. This could be something for you know, that you need around the house. It could be a Keurig. You know, it's pretty much all encompassing for personal items. Um, I don't buy that much stuff every month, so let's just put 150. Uh, pets, this is obviously if you have a pet. So you want to take into consideration any veterinarian bills, um, ongoing expenses like grooming, uh, food, you know, things like that. Typically, what I do in a situation like this is that I take all my bills that I know the pet is going to have over the year and I divide it by 12 and that way I get a monthly amount. So if you have veterinarian bills and things that may come up, let's just budget right around 200 bucks a month for the pet, right? Utilities, let's just say we live in a 2,500 square foot house, um, you know, water, sewer, gas, electric, you know, whatever, let's put 250 bucks here. Travel, I know that I wanna travel on a really nice vacation once a year, so I'm gonna save about uh, $200 a month, which is about $2,400 a year. Uh, any debt, so this, this means interest that you have to pay from that debt. So if you have student loans and things like that, you want to put the, the amount of interest here. So hopefully no one is in debt, so I'll just leave this at zero. Uh, other, this can be, you know, whatever you want it to be, right? So let's just put an all-encompassing $300 here. So we know that we're planning about $3,060 a month. Uh, for our monthly expenses, and we know that we're planning on receiving net five grand a month, right? And again, you guys, this is just an example. So now you do the same exact thing as you did for your income. So when we we're putting in our paychecks right here, you do the same exact thing for expenses. So if we know that our rent or our mortgage is going to be twelve fifty a month, we simply put that here. You know, the date we incurred it, let's say we owe rent on the first of the month, we pay twelve fifty. we put it under the category of home, and boom, look, you got uh, the actual right here. So you have twelve fifty, twelve fifty. the difference being zero, okay? So now, for the sake of time, I would go through all the other categories or pretty much just anything, any expense that I incur throughout the month, I put this here. So let's say it's the next day, and I wanna go to the movies, and I put, you know, $10, I'm going by myself, right? And I'll put movies. So under this category, we can either put this, you know, under personal, other, however you wanna classify it, or you can, again, you can even create an entertainment category. I'm just gonna put this under personal. And now you see I budgeted 150, I actually paid out 10 so far, and that's a difference of being plus 140. Does that make sense? But now let's, let's take an example of where we go over budget, right? Let's say it's the next day, and I want to buy a $600 iPad, right? So I buy an iPad, I categorize this under the personal expense, and now look what happens. 
boom, I smoked my budget for the iP- by buying that iPad, okay? So I budgeted 150, I actually have 610, so 600 for the iPad, uh, $10 for the movie, I'm already over my budget by $460 and it's only the third of the month, right? So you do this throughout the entire month. So remember, everything that you spend, you wanna track here, not only is it excellent for holding you accountable and knowing that you have uh, this spreadsheet tracking everything you do to see if you're actually falling within your budget, uh, it actually shows you where you're spending most of your money on. So if you go into this actual category right here, you know that, okay, my, my rent is my rent. You know, I paid that, it's great, my difference is zero. And then you look over here and you say, holy smokes, 460, what's going on here? Oh, it's because I went back in here and I, I bought the iPad, I bought the movie, I did this, I did that. And you can actually see where most of your money is going. So hopefully you guys found this pretty powerful. Um, again, all you need is a Google Drive account to be able to change your entire financial life, so why wouldn't you wanna do that? So knowing how to budget is extremely important because I, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, it helps you act like a business. It treats your personal finances like a business. You know exactly how much is coming in and you have a very good idea of how much is going out per month which allows you to realistically budget and it allows you to allocate every single one of your dollars into investments or assets that will help you actually build your wealth over time. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really hope you got value out of this video. Please like this video and please leave a positive comment. It really helps YouTube recognize my channel um, and actually helps me uh, become an authority on actually knowing what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, so ultimately, share the video with a friend who needs to budget. Uh, we all have that friend that's driving a brand new car, has a Louis Vuitton belt, looks like a million bucks, and is freaking broke. So send them the spreadsheet. Actually, don't spread, send them the spreadsheet because they probably won't talk to you again because <laughs> those kinds of people don't want to be hit in the face with reality. But again, the numbers don't lie, so knowing how to budget will absolutely change your financial life. Thank you so much, and have a prosperous day. Yeah.